A slide step here, a shuffle there. Line dancing helps these Phoenix seniors take their minds off some of today's depressing news, like the growing measles outbreak across the country. Something you don't play with, you can die from this. You know, and it's scary, you know, it's awful, it's awful. On Mondays, it's at 10.30. Valley grandmother Nancy Gill came down with the measles when she was four years old before there was a vaccine. She remembers the pain and suffering and being kept in a dark room. Gill can't understand why parents don't vaccinate their kids. Young people don't know what measles can do. They think it's just spots and a rash and then it goes away. They don't know it can cause blindness, brain damage, all of the things that deafness that used to happen and they even kill people. Dozens of new measles cases have just been reported across the country, pushing the total above 700, the highest number in the United States since 1994. Just the increase in cases is alarming. Jessica Rigler is Assistant Public Health Director for Arizona's Department of Health Services. Rigler tells us the latest measles outbreak has raised new questions about whether some older adults born before 1968 should be revaccinated. She says in only certain cases, is a booster vaccine necessary. If you travel out of the country, have a compromised immune system, spend time on a college campus, or work as a healthcare professional. Traveling internationally, there's ongoing measles outbreaks, or if you're working in a healthcare setting, you have a higher likelihood of coming into contact with someone who has measles. So some of those situations, we wanna make sure that your immunity is boosted to offer you the best chance of protection. Now, health officials tell me if you had a measles vaccine 40 to 50 years ago, it should still be effective today. It's only if you are in one of those high risk categories that you should consider getting another shot. Live in the newsroom, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.